Hi, this is Kristen S. And today I'm going to talk to you about shame for the unfaithful spouse. If you are the unfaithful spouse in an affair, like I am, it's likely you're dealing with a great deal of shame regarding what happened. And shame is a corrosive emotion that may be prohibiting you from healing and healing within the space of your marriage. For instance, for myself, uh, after the initial aftermath of everything, when my husband would bring up my affair, my affair partner, or really anything to do with what happened, I would immediately start to spiral, down the shame spiral. I would think about how bad of a person I was, I would start ruminating on what happened, and I would mentally start berating myself and worry about what everybody else was thinking about me as well. The reality is though, is that line of thinking was keeping me trapped in the negative thinking that I was in. And it took me a while to realize this, but one of uh, the key things that helped me were actually my dogs. So I have two dogs and uh, one day they were playing and the one dog started chasing our cat. And of course I chastised him and said, don't chase the cat. Uh, and, you know, he immediately did what all dogs do. He started pouting and, you know, sloughed off to the corner. But, you know, within 10 minutes, he was back up playing with our other dog and then thinking about chasing the cat again, obviously. But in that instance, I thought to myself, the dog isn't experiencing shame. You yell at the dog, the dog adjusts his behavior, but then he doesn't think about what a bad dog he is, he doesn't ruminate over what happened, and he's not worrying that the other dogs are judging him based on what he did. And I know it's kind of a silly comparison, but it's a really good lesson that we can take away from that. Just because we made a bad choice certainly doesn't make us a bad person. Your affair is one facet of the entirety of your, of your being. And if you can work through your shame, you can heal much faster. So shame is toxic for a lot of reasons. Um, first of all, shame keeps you focused on you. You're focused on how bad of a person you are, on what happened, and what other people may be thinking. So you're entirely focused on your internal being. And during this critical time in the aftermath of affair, that actually might be damaging because it might be lessening the validity of the way your spouse is feeling. You're wrapped up in yourself and your spouse is likely experiencing the agony and all the pain that comes with your affair. So keeping the focus on you really isn't helping your spouse actually get better from your affair either. Eventually, I realized that if I wanted to feel better for myself and if I wanted to help my spouse feel better, I was going to have to exit the shame spiral. But this is easier said than done because shame is a very difficult emotion. So what are some ways that you can work through shame? The first thing is to acknowledge that it's happening. When shame comes up for you, you know, take a moment and you can think about why is this happening? How is this making me feel? If you have a tendency to start to berate yourself mentally, like saying, I'm a bad person, Take a step back and say, is that really true? Am I really a bad person? You're not. You have value, you have worth, you are loved. And give yourself some compassion. Think about the positive aspects of your being and who you are as a person. Another thing I would recommend is to consider seeking out the help of a therapist. A therapist can help you go through the different emotions that you're feeling in the aftermath of an affair, specifically revolved around shame. You can ask them to work through those emotions with you and hopefully heal on your own and get better so that you're not experiencing shame and bringing shame into your house around your spouse who may be dealing with their own internal pain. Remember, as I said, your spouse is definitely hurting during this time and they need your support, maybe now more than ever. And so ask them how you can be there for them during this difficult time and really try to listen and implement that. Now, all of this information is available in the blog post, along with supplemental resources, uh, readings, and podcasts regarding shame and how you can work your way through it. 